Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the door switch in your gas range, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Shut off the gas supply as well. Pull the range away from the wall so you can access the rear of the appliance. Open the oven door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the control panel's lower cover. Remove the cover. Pull off the five control knobs. Next, unthread the two screws securing the control panel to the frame. Detach the control panel and support it to avoid straining the wires. Now unthread the front bracket screws securing the main top. Unthread the two screws underneath the rear corners of the top. Lift off both grates. Remove all five burner caps and burner bases. You can now unthread the screws securing the orifice holders to the main top. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift off the top. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, Unthread the two screws securing the lower rear access panel. Lift the panel up and out to remove. Unthread the three screws to release the left side stop bracket. Repeat to detach the right side bracket. Now lift the upper rear access panel up to remove. For easier access to the door switch, unthread the two screws securing the orifice holder support panel to the right side panel. Unthread the four remaining screws securing the side panel. Now use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab at the rear and you can fully detach the panel. Remove the insulating cover. You can now disconnect the door switch wire connector. Depress the retaining tabs and push the door switch free of the bracket. Pull the actuator rod out of the hole in the front panel and detach the old switch from the rod. Install the new oven door switch by hooking it onto the actuator rod. Then feed the rod through the hole in the front panel and snap the switch into place on the bracket.
connect the wire connector. Reposition the insulating cover. Reinstall the side panel by aligning the frame tabs with the slots on the front of the panel. Then snap the panel into position. Secure it with the screws. Replace the screws securing the orifice holder support panel to the side panel. Reinstall the upper rear access panel by hooking it on the tabs. Realign the two stop brackets and thread the screws to hold them in place. Reinstall the lower access panel by inserting the tabs in the slots first. Lower the panel and secure it with the screws. Reposition the main top on the frame so the spark electrodes protrude through the holes in the top. Confirm that the orifice holders are aligned. Then thread and tighten the screws to secure the holders to the main top. Replace each burner base in its proper location by aligning the notch in the base with the spark electrode. Replace the burner caps. Reposition the grates. Thread the two rear screws to secure the main top. Replace the front bracket screws. Realign the control panel on the front brackets. Secure it with the screws. Replace the lower cover. Then thread the screws to secure. Realign the control knobs on the valve stems and push them into place. Note that the power burner control knob should be placed on the second stem from the left. Turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and the gas range should be ready for use.